Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes and we've got Christina running the camera there, hey. my lovely wife, and we're here to show you our newest house which is a 43 foot gooseneck homesteader deluxe. So let's go take a look and check it out. The customers wanted a purple exterior with gray trim and black windows and a black door. I think it turned out beautifully. We'll start out here show you just a couple features on the outside and this is the oh we got a lot of stuff in there so <laughs> <laughs> finishing up storage finishing up everything before we take it to delivery tomorrow so there's the pet door you get to see that first hot water heater and then there's a door on the other side that you can access yeah. the so. kitty litter box will go in here so it'll be yeah. out of the house Cat box will go here, and then the other side will just be storage that you can see the water filter across the way. Alrighty. So I'll just show come around. the gooseneck a little bit. So above here is living space, but below here is the dual zone mini split system. So we've got two indoor units on this one. A lot of people also use this area just for extra sto outdoor storage because it's covered and sheltered. You can, when you do your skirting, you can just continue it and then put a little opening. So this one, this outdoor unit is bigger than most. Yeah, it's a 27K. Most of the ones we do are either 12 or 18 for the single zones. All right, let's go on inside. I'll see a little bit before we walk inside. So this is like our Chewy's house where you come in over the wheel well. I was going to show the which actually um, works out great for... I'm going to kick my shoes off. Yeah, it works out great for st shoes, extra shoe storage. Let me step down into the kitchen area. You want to start in the living area over here? So we, to the left of the entryway is the nice spacious living area. Enough room for a full-size sofa here. They're, they've got a little uh, electric fireplace and TV stand here. They're going to set their TV on top. They got the some nice wall sconces with antique light switches. Turn them both on. Which is really cool. There we go. Some nice reading lights there. And, then and then, this is the space for the dining table. Yep. So even though there's not a table there, there's space for it. <laughs> <laughs> People who like to leave comments. And then <laughs> here's the space where she's gonna have her desk under this window. So lots of lots of extra space in this house. You've got a beautifully decked out kitchen here. It's compact, but it has everything you need. Four burner gas cooktop, a 24 inch electric oven, a dishwasher drawer, which is really nice and deep. It's surprisingly deep. <laughs> the yeah. dishwasher drawer is. So it has plenty of room for all your dishes. Got storage down below, a beautiful hammered copper sink with a fold down faucet, full bank of drawers, apartment sized fridge, open shelving, got the pot rack, got a custom pendant light over the sink. Turned out really cool. So there's our clerestory windows we have in a lot of our homes. Over the catwalk there. The catwalk's a great place to put plants and things. Just get all these drawers. And we got toe kick drawers down there too. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go in the bathroom. That sounds great. Maybe I'll get this. This is really pretty. This turned out really nice with the, um, the storage staircase is beside the shoe kick. And then the interior window along with the 
kind of Frank Lloyd Wright inspired railing and window. All right. So we'll start with, there's the cat door we saw on the other side and the laundry nook. So we'll get the washing machine put in there. And a little bit of storage here. All right, talk about the shower. It's a five foot wide by 32 inch deep uh, walk, step in shower with a sliding glass door, acrylic surround. So plenty of room to, to bathe comfortably. No, no bending over to wash your feet and hitting your head on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> They did some really cool cabinet handles you can see there. Yeah, their hardware is cool. I'll show that on the storage staircase too. And then we got a casement window above the toilet, below the, the uh, linen cabinet. And then really cool. So I'm gonna kind of get in the shower and then you can see okay. how much room there is in this bathroom. And we've got a really cool vessel, uh, vessel sink. Did you show that? Not yet. There's the vanity. Nice vanity with drawers. Not drawers, though. <laughs> the but a nice hammered copper interior on the bowl with a antique copper waterfall faucet and decorative mosaic glass on the stained glass on the exterior of the bowl. It's nice and sparkly. Turned out really nice. Then a light with a Event. And Soft it's there fan. this time. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the master bedroom first. Oh, master and office up the stairs. All right. All right, so you see we got regular size stair treads. We have the stair lights. And there's one of our boosts, booster steps. Get up into the, this was a queen size bed platform, right? Yes. So this is our deluxe um, stand up loft, six, four and shorter. Yep. Can stand up in these. And then there's the other booster step. I'll show the bed platform, a little bit of the storage. And then they have hidden Hidden compartments down in there. Pop out shelves to store extra stuff. Two full size wardrobes, and then this is the bonus room over the gooseneck. So, a lot of builders can do something like the stand up loft over the gooseneck, but we, we're not even over the gooseneck yet until we come into the office. So, there's an entire dedicated office space. What are the dimensions of this one? It's the dimensions of the interior dimensions of the room are about six and a half feet by six and a half feet. So you can fit a full size desk, a uh, filing cabinet, and you know, extra, add some shelving in here if you want, if you need extra storage. You can see we just made it a little exercise room. Could be an exercise room too. There's plenty of room to do some yoga in here. And then that extra mini split head. Maybe where your overhead reaches, you might touch the ceiling. But. <laughs> <laughs> nah, do your yoga in the living room yeah so this is how this layout looks and then you might need to get that ladder down for me so that yeah. I can climb up and show the it's a standard crawling loft across the way you can see he's got a little got some hooks there to put the ladder I'll give a good view of everything. This is a cool fan. Maybe you want to stop the fan sure. and then. Okay, let me get back up. So it's the kind of. Might take the, a minute to go in, but. Uh, you can, the blades are. I think are you track. can already see. The blades are getting yeah. skinnier going. Yeah, there we go. So it's a retractable blade. Yeah, and the Same centrifugal thing. force of the spinning blades pulls them out and then. It moves, helps move the air throughout the house. All right, now get that fan back on. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna climb up real 
quick. And show the pretty much your basic crawling loft. And we didn't add any shelving or anything in this one. The customer is just going to use it for storage. So they opted just to nice have and it. simple. Yep, simple and open. But still an egress window. So if you decide you need some space for guests, they can sleep up there. That's all yep. up to code. It is code legal for, for sleeping loft as well. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like our homes. Be sure to click and subscribe and click like on our video. We love you and we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.